In this video, I'm going to teach you how to recover very quickly when you get pulled out wide in a baseline rally. And I'm going to show you Emma Raducanu and Taylor Fritz using the same footwork pattern. So let's check this out. Let's look at this out wide ball that Emma is hitting right here. This is a mogul stance, right? She's getting pulled to her left. This is an open stance and specifically a mogul stance. Open stance, meaning that when she's contacting the ball, her left foot is on the left and her right foot is on the right. That is an open stance. Doesn't have to do with where your toes are pointing. Simply means that the left foot is on the left and the right foot is on the, on the right at contact. It's a mogul because her feet are moving. Her left foot moves with her. Her right foot moves with her. She does that to keep her feet under her since she was on the run while she hit. This just braces her, makes it easier to recover. Now, this is the foot I want to talk about. The inside foot, the foot that is closer to the center of the court. Let's zoom in here and let's check out the direction that this foot is about to move. I'm going to give you two choices. Is the foot going to move toward the center of the court or is it going to move away from the center of the court when she is recovering back to the middle? Let's see, right? Which, which one are you going to choose? Is she going to move it to the right or to the left? Which color? Yellow. She moves it to the left, right? She moves it actually away from the center on the, her way back to the center of the court to recover. Why is she doing that? Well, let's just look at this position. This is not a very balanced position from a standpoint of explosively moving back to the center. But watch what she does with that right foot, the foot that's called the inside foot. This is the outside foot. What does she do with her inside foot? She moves it under her. And I, I timed it. In a quarter of a second, she goes from being stretched and off balance to now having a power line. And now she's leaning the direction she wants to go. She's balanced and can easily move back to the center. When you get pulled out wide, it is important that you don't think of the outside foot as the pushing foot, but rather that's the bracing foot. And then what you want to do is move this inside foot, the foot closer to the center, under you. That instantly gets you leaning the direction you want to go, which makes you so much faster to recover. Now, here's Taylor Fritz at the top of the screen doing the exact same thing. He does it on this ball right here, and he does it on this ball right here. All right, let's check this out. <laughs> on consecutive shots, he uses this footwork. Let's zoom in. Yes, you can see it's Taylor Fritz. So here is the same footwork. Look at this open stance. It's actually a mogul stance. Left foot's on the left, right foot's on the right. He hits. This is the fastest way to recover back to the center when it comes to the footwork pattern that you're using when you hit the ball. It is a mogul stance that makes him so quick to get to the middle. Now, this is his inside foot. It is his right foot. It is toward the center of the court. Which direction is it going to move? Is it going to move toward the center of the court or is it going to move away from the center of the court? Let's look. See that little move? See that move? He's doing that so he can instantly create this line, this power line where he's leaning toward the center. You need to make sure you're doing this. When you get pulled to the side very fast, use an open stance where the last step you take, make sure that your left foot's on the left and your right foot's on the right. You can think of it this way. The direction you're going, that's the last foot that steps since he's running to his left. The last foot that steps prior to hitting the ball is his left foot. Then he hits and he moves his feet under him. Now he braces with, this, with his outside leg, but he is going to move his inside leg under him, which instantly gets him leaning. And now he can do a crossover step that recovers back to the center. Let's look at this next shot. Now he gets pulled way off the court. In fact, he has to do what's called a squash shot. He changes to a continental grip. You can see it right there. He changes the grip. Let's see if you can notice this. There's his forehand grip. And right there, he changes to a continental grip. And he basically hits a sidearm serve, like a head level serve as he hits the ball. He's pronating. Look at that move. That's awesome. Now let's look at his recovery. He's actually sliding. Let's look at his recovery. He's going to not push with this leg, but he's going to brace himself with that leg, support himself, and watch his inside foot steps under him right there. 
Now he creates the line to be able to recover with a crossover step back toward the center. Now he didn't even run for that ball because Kruger... Uh, correctly came forward when he got his opponent in trouble and quick moved in to put the volley away. You have to film yourself while you're hitting these shots. Open stance, mogul, and make sure that your inside leg steps under you to quickly create that leaning power line that's going to get you to recover even faster. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link in the description and pinned in the first comment, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. So please go out and film yourself hitting forehands and backhands or go out and hit on the ball machine, maybe even just shadow swing in your driveway. If you're running to your left, the last foot you step with is the left foot when you're running hard and you want to be able to recover back to the center. That'll give you an open stance. Then your feet just move under you slightly. So that's called the mogul stance. And then simply the foot that's closest to the center actually moves away from the center to get you to lean. And Emma shows you that perfectly. You do the crossover and then you're back to the center. You work on this footwork pattern and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.